Hi, this is Trey Pastor, and welcome to our Horoscope 101 channel, and it's Saturday, so it's my turn up again. And uh, this week on a, the, our channel is a, a horror channel. It's original versus remake. Uh, okay, for my films, I picked um, two films that I'm a very big fan of. Well, the original I'm a real big fan of, and that's okay. It's the original 1941 classic, The Wolfman, starring Lauren Chaney, Claude Rains. And this is the 2010 version of The Wolfman, starring Benicio Del Toro, Anthony Hopkins, uh, Hugo Weaving, uh, Emily Blunt's in this also. And uh, first, I'm going to. Uh, you know, full disclosure, um, I think a few weeks ago I did a review of The Wolfman on this channel, and I'll have the link to that uh, review right there somewhere. And because um, I'm a big fan of the Universal Monster movie, so I'm a big fan of The Wolfman, my all time favorite uh, horror monster. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do, like I said, this is original versus remake, so I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis of. Uh, this film and then of this film and then tell you what the difference is and which film I think is better. I think that should be sufficient. And uh, first also I want to total honesty on my channel, my own channel, um, I did I did review these two films but what I did when I reviewed these, I reviewed you know this film of course and not the theatrical and the theatrical cut I did review, not the unrated version. For this review on this channel I reviewed the unrated version. Okay, the link to my original review of these two, uh, the original movie and the, the theatrical cut will be right here. And uh, you can check that out. And uh, you can see, you, once you see that, you'll see the diff you'll know the difference. And there's going to be spoilers in this because there's no way to talk about this without spoiling it and to tell you how I feel about it. Anyway, the basic story, of course, is the 1941 classic is. Uh, about, it's about a gentleman named Lawrence Taub, played by Lon Chaney Jr. He um, has been estranged from his family and living in America. He's been an engineer, and he, upon the death of his older brother, John, he returns to uh, Talbot Castle in England, where his father, Sir John Talbot, played by Claude Rains, welcomes him home, and, you know, they make, kind of make amends, in, and Claude, Claude Rains, who plays Sir John Talbot, says, you know, he tells him, basically, we're going to make up for... Uh, you know, the Talbot family has a tradition of the older son gets all the attention while the younger the younger siblings usually get it usually gets ignored and they they resolve to uh come together. Anyway, uh and, and and let the past be the past and start a new tradition of being close. And anyway, uh basically after that he launched Talbot uh Lon Chaney Jr. he uh spies a Gwen <laughs> Gwen Cunoff, that's her name, and she, he, you know, he spies her on his telescope, and he's, then he goes to her shop, and he flirts with her, and then he goes up, and then he actually invites himself out, you know, and he buys the, uh, the wolfhead cane, that's, and that's a very important clue in this movie, uh, and he kind of invites himself to go to, um, to go walking with her, and she brings along her friend Jenny, and, you know, they visit a gypsy camp, and, while in the midst of walking off with, with Gwen, uh, her friend uh, Jenny gets attacked by by what he thinks Lon Ch uh, Chaney, uh, Lon Talbot, is a wolf. But in actuality, is actually a werewolf. It's actually Bella the Gypsy who was turned into a werewolf and attacked her. Okay, and in the midst of, of, of trying to protect Jenny and saving her, he gets bitten, but he kill, winds up killing. Uh, what he thinks is a wolf, when well, in actuality he's, of course, a werewolf. Okay, and then forever then he's cursed. Okay, and basically the rest of the movie is him coming to terms with what he is, and of course being horrified by it. And um, basically, uh, this movie is a classic, and mostly I think because the the whole atmosphere of the movie and the, the performance of Lon Chaney Jr. He is absolutely amazing as uh, Lawrence Tauber, like I said, a good man trying to do the right thing. And winds up getting cursed, uh, okay. And Lon Chaney Jr. was just absolutely amazing. He's owned this role as Lawrence Talbot. He feels so much for him, and that's the, I think the key to this movie that he feels so much empathy. This is a man who doesn't like being a, a beast, basically a murderous beast. He actually hates it and he's terrified of it, 
Okay, and the great tragedy of this, of course, is that he winds up getting killed by his father, his father who he came home to re reconcile with. He gets winds up getting killed, and that is the great tragedy of this. So this movie is a tragedy. Yeah, okay, and it's also a classic. Just okay, Lon Chaney Jr.'s performance, the whole atmosphere of the movie. Of course, the makeup by Jack Pierce, absolutely fantastic. Now, this version of the Wolfman. This is the 2010 version. Okay, directed by Joe Johnston, uh, starring Benicio del Toro as Lawrence Talbot and uh, Anthony Hopkins. Sir Anthony Hopkins is uh, John Talbot and Emily Blunt is Glenn Carter. This movie they changed things around a little bit in it. Uh, I think the original Wolfman was, I believe, like 73 minutes or something, 73 minutes. And this movie, of course, this is the um, 2010 version. Now, um, this version, in this version of, of the movie, Lawrence Talbot is a, they make him a, they make him an actor, and they, they kind of, they change the backstory around a bit about how he became estranged. Apparently, he witnessed the death of his mother as a youngster. And he was, you know, put into an insane asylum by his father and then shipped off to live with an aunt in England, not, not, excuse me, in America. And, of course, he hasn't been back home since. And he gets a note from his brother's fiance saying that his, his brother's gone missing, whereupon he returns home to actually, you know, help with the search for his brother. But by the time he gets home, he finds out that his brother's body's been found, murdered by a savage beast. Okay, so basically in the course of investigation, you know, he, he, you know, uh, he, you know, he reconciles with his father, well, he doesn't reconcile, actually, he just, he comes home to, to Tower Castle to, you know, meet with his father and, and start investigating his brother's death. And, of course, during the course of an investigation, he, you know, he finds out about a, a beast that has been attacking villagers. And then, of course, he, he goes to visit the gypsy camp. To, you know, to ask the gypsies because his brother was actually used to trade with the gypsies, so he goes to investigate and ask questions. And then during the course of this investigation, the werewolf attacks again. This mysterious werewolf attacks again, and Lawrence Talbot winds up getting bitten, of course. And he's actually, in this version, he's actually saved by the gypsies. They save him, they stitch him up. And of course, since he was bitten by a werewolf and he survived, he's you know, cursed to become the wolfman. Now, now the reason, now, th in this version, they, well, this let me see the theatrical version that I saw in the theater. I didn't like it very much, and if you see my review, which I earlier had a link up to in this video, um, you'll see why I didn't like it. Like, the pacing was actually I thought that was terrible in the movie, and, and of course in this movie, in the original movie, Lawrence Talbot gets killed by his father John Talbot. In this version, you find out that um, his father. Sir John Talbot, played by Anthony Hopkins, is actually a werewolf. He's the werewolf that actually bit Lawrence Talbot and, and cursed him. Okay, and there's a big showdown, you know, once Lawrence Talbot, you know, figures out, you know, that his father, his father actually, after the first night that he gets changed, he gets turned, and he changes. And, you know, the next morning, he gets taken into a sane asylum. <laughs> And put in there, and then that's when his father comes to him and explains to him about how he was. How he went, I think, to some. I'm trying to think where it was, India or somewhere. He said, "Well, he went into a cave where there was a legend of some wolf boy, and he got bit by him, and then that's. And from that point on, he was, I guess, cur cursed with the beast, become a werewolf. Now, like I said, the original theatrical version of this movie was, I didn't like it because of several reasons. Like I said, that the pacing of the movie was off. It, it, it kind of sped up. It kind of left from place to place. When you watch the theatrical cut, they kind of like, they everything kind of sped up, and I didn't buy, you know, and I, I hated the fact that, because what I, one of the things I loved about the original Wolfman was the relationship, you know, so John Talbot and, 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 and Lawrence Talbot, and in this movie, they make John Talbot basically a weirdo in the beginning when he reunites with his son. You know, he's kind of distanced, of course, and weird, and then, of course, they make him a, a werewolf, you know, the werewolf that actually curses him, which I thought at the time was a terrible thing. I said, you know, why change that around? I think one, that was one of the great tragedies and great things about the original Wolfman was that his father, you know, reconciling, coming home and reconciling with his father and vowing to be closer, and then in the ultimate tragedy, his father wind up killing him, you know, you know, so it begins with a tragedy, and then it ends with a tragedy, 
And so basically, John, Sir, John Thomas lost two sons, and it's just a, just a tragedy. And, and so in this one, John Thomas, they make him the villain in this. And it's almost like Anthony Hopkins gives two performances. In the beginning of the movie, he's like distant and aloof. And then in the second movie, he reveals his villainous nature. Okay, now, I watched the unrated version on uh, Monday. Now, the unrated, excuse me, the unrated version, and after watching it, um, I come to like appreciate this movie a lot better. Okay, the unrated version has 16 more minutes of actual footage, okay, which kind of makes the story flow better to me. And, and so if it for those who've seen the unrated version, you'll know what I mean. And what I, and they, what I, a few things that they show in the unrated version. In the beginning, I guess they filmed, and this movie had a lot of problems with production and stuff, like the original director uh, left because of budget, a budget issues he left, and then they had a scramble to get another director before they got Joe Johnson. I think they said like a couple of weeks before production was to start on this. Okay, so they have issues, and I know they had to do a bunch of reshoots. This movie film was, I think, shot in 2008, but they didn't release it to 2010. But like I said, the unrated version, like I think the story flowed better. Like I said, they added those 16 extra minutes in there, which made the story seem, you know, more um, consistent. And also, um, and he's the one, of course, that bit his son, and ultimately is the villain. And they, you know, they have the battle, the the two werewolves. And one of the things I absolutely hated when <laughs> about the actual cut, because John Talbot looked like a he looked like a Care Bear to me, almost like a bear. Okay, and I didn't like that. But, you know, after watching this on, on that Monday, I watched this on Tuesday, I believe, after I came home from work. Yeah, the story flow, with those extra 16 minutes made the story flow a little bit better. Okay, and I kind of bought more of the relationship between Emily Blunt's character, who played uh, Gwen Quanoff, and uh, Benicio Del Toro, who played Lawrence Talbot. Okay, but one of the things, uh, like I said, the differences, again, between the two films, uh, in the original Wolfman, I felt so much for Lon Chaney Jr. as Lawrence Tower, his performance. I felt you feel so much for him. You sympathize with him and you you feel anguish for him and you of course ultimately at the end you feel sorry that he, you know, he basically gets killed by his father, and you feel sorry for his father having to kill him because of what he is. But in this movie, the Wolfman, you think I don't feel I didn't feel that same amount of empathy for Benicio Del Toro's Lawrence Tower. And I guess that maybe that's more due to the writing of it. That or me, does that you know Benicio del Toro is a good actor, and of course you want you know you feel sorry for him. He gets cursed, and but I didn't feel the same level of empathy. I guess that's what the word I was looking for. I didn't feel the same level level of empathy for him that you felt for Lon Chaney Jr.'s Lawrence Talbot, and maybe that had to do with them switching the roles. You know of the of the father and. And the son, you know, by making, you know, in the original, you know, the father kills the son unknowingly. And in this one, actually, uh, I, I, but I don't think it was, I'm trying to, no, it wasn't Lawrence, it wasn't Benicio de Turo's fault, I don't think. Maybe just, maybe it was the writing of it. Just, you know, they had to stretch this movie out. This movie with the unrated version, I think it's like almost two hours. And of course, that's 73 minutes. So this story, they had to flesh out a little bit more. So, but for some reason, I didn't feel that same level of, of empathy that I did for Lon Chaney's Jr.'s version, okay? So, um, like I said, uh, like I said, that's the difference, of course, one of the differences, okay? In that movie, father kills son unknowingly, but he kills his son. In this movie, you know, there's a big battle of werewolves because, you know, Lawrence Topic, you know, after he changes the first time in this movie, you know, the next morning they come and arrest him, of course, and they throw him in a sane asylum, okay? And then he actually, there's a great sequence, actually, where he breaks out. He changes in front of a whole bunch of people, and he breaks out and escapes through London. And then he has to basically go from London back to Talbot Castle, you know, Talbot Castle to confront his father now that he, that he knows that his father's the one that bit him and cursed him. So he has to confront him, and there's a big battle between the two worlds, okay, at the end which is actually pretty nice. I mean, like I said, the theatrical version, you know, I think that kind of, that's what kind of made me sour on the theatrical version of it because I didn't like the fact that they changed it. I didn't like, but like I said, after revisiting this and watching it again, 
I kind of appreciate this movie a little bit more. Okay, so I didn't hate it as much as I, I, th I think I did when I saw it because I was so geeked up to see this movie. When I saw the trailers for this was coming out, I said, oh, my, they're remaking one of my favorite films, and I was so geeked about it. And then ultimately I was disappointed, like I said, by the pacing of the film and by them making, you know, Sir John Talbot aware of the curse of the sun. And that, that kind of pissed me off. But after revisiting this and watching it, the unrated version with the extra footage and stuff, I actually pretty, you know, I actually thought better of it. And that now I like this film a lot better than I did. So it's always good to revisit a film. And like I said, I watched this, the unrated version with the 16 extra minutes. And also I want to talk about the, uh, before the video goes too long there, there was three, there was uh, three endings for this movie. Of course, the theatrical version of, of course, where Gwen, uh, Gwen gets, uh, she, you know, she confronts him by the waterfall. Well, the wolfman chases her to the waterfall. And she, you know, pleads with him to Lawrence to remember who she is, and he kind of remembers her for a minute, and then she pulls the gun and she actually shoots him and kills him, and then he changes back and dies, and then, it, of course, it goes off. But also, um, then there's the second version. Uh, you know, they have two alternate versions from that. Okay, and in the second one, uh, Gwen comes, she confronts him at the, you know, the Wolfman chases her to the waterfall, then she pleads with him again, and then he ultimately bites her. <laughs> But and then, but she kills him after that. So you see, you know, she's bitten, but she's still alive. So of course, being she's cursed now. And then you see a, a nice shot of the moon. And then the third version, which is I think is the best version to me, in my opinion, is uh, he, you know, he confronts her at the waterfall again, and you know she pleads with him, and then he winds up killing her, and then it goes off with him. He turns around and looks and howls at the moon, and it goes off, which I thought was a cool, pretty cool ending so this like I said so like I said I hope you enjoyed my uh, I think this went a little longer but uh, my uh, views of the, the original Wolfman and their two, 2010 remake like I said this movie is a classic I'll always love this movie my favorite character this movie after revisiting it and watching the unrated version which I suggest a lot of people do watch the unrated version okay not the theatrical cut I think the unrated version is a lot better okay made the story flow better and you kind of pre and you pre and I think the story worked that way. And this movie has a great atmosphere. I love the way it was shot. You know the whole, you know, eighteen nineties feel of it. I guess, you know, and the see, you know, the the effects, you know, were pretty good. I like the Wolfman makeup in this movie. It was pretty good. Okay, so that's my opinion. Uh, okay, and I also want to say, um, welcome to Kayla Jarek, who's following me. She's going to be on Sunday. Okay, and welcome to the channel. Okay. Okay, and uh, I'll leave a link to my channel right here in case anybody wants to sub to my original channel. Okay, and uh, this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.